Hello, my name is Haley Anderson and I was assigned Chapter 2 for our application presentation. The concept I will be going over is normative theories of ethics and more specifically utilitarianism. According to the text, normative theory suggests what people ought to do in situations. A normative perspective has two implications for persuasion, but I will only be focusing on one, which is going to be utilitarianism. This implication offers uh, common sense solutions to moral situations. Utilitarianism judges actions on whether they produce more con positive consequences compared to the negative consequences. People who consider themselves utilitarians, like myself, consider a moral act to be one that promotes greater good for the greatest number of people. In other words, minimizing the conflict. This specific concept could be used in many real life and hypothetical situations. However, I feel I use utilitarianism every time that I'm in a bind or a situation that persuasion is needed. A good and recent example of this occurring in my real life had me visiting one of my friends who was sick in the hospital. I know this sounds silly and you may not see how it ties into the concept, but utilitarianism is about promoting greater good and that includes maximizing happiness. By visiting my friend when no one else could or would, I self-calculated that it would not only make my sick friend feel better, but also maximize the happiness of the others who couldn't visit because they would have this huge weight lifted off of their shoulder. To put this example into more perspective for utilitarianism, I had a more positive consequence by taking the time out of my day to visit my friend rather than the negative consequence of having my sick friend upset along with all the others who weren't able to visit and still felt that sense of obligation or burden. Now that I have discussed my experience with utilitarianism, I will make some inferences based on this concept. I've learned that through utilitarianism, there are both a lot of benefits and downfalls. The biggest benefit being that you are ultimately always choosing to take the positive consequence, meaning you are minimizing the amount of conflict every time you do choose to uh, use the concept of utilitarianism. However, the biggest downfall also comes with the greatest benefit. Usually, or from my own personal experience, when you are choosing the positive consequence, you are also more than likely choosing to take the fall yourself just to make everyone else around you happy. Utilitarianism has definitely made me feel a sense of obligation and duty towards situations like this. Now that I have made some inferences, I will discuss how these inferences can be transferred to other situations. The theory of utilitarianism can be used in everyday situations or dilemmas. In my, op my opinion, this concept is one of the more simpler implications of persuasion. In conclusion, we can gain insight on another persuasive way to help people decide whether or not some actions are morally justified. You may be asking yourself, why should we follow the concept of utilitarianism? Well, for me, the answer to that question is simple. Why would you want to produce more negative consequences in your life than positive consequences? Utilitarianism offers itself as the solution to that problem. All in all, the concept of utilitarianism gives us an opportunity to improve our own moral senses, and as Perloff says in our text, improve the happiness of human beings living on Earth. Thank you.